Okay, okay, okay. I'm very excited. Wow. Okay, so this is in the making for a very long time. It's probably the most excited package I've had in a while. So let's figure out what it is. I know what it is. Let's try to open it up carefully. Side. Looks for being patient. Ooh, still have more to cut. Okay. Oh, like and subscribe because trust me, this is a really cool. Something that's a grail I am gonna buy. Okay. Here we go. It's not. It's been a stubborn package. Throw my other phone there. See these suckers. You ready? In a long time. Wow. Okay, got him. Let's put these boy bad boys here. Air Jordan 7 Raptors, size 9. Okay. Need some cleaning. Need some cleaning. These are the 2002 version and the OG version. Oh my gosh, I have not seen these since 1994. Um, okay, so when I was 1992, I was 12. Jordan and the Bulls beat the and Trailblazers. Bulls beat the Trailblazers. Jordan had these shoes. This is when he went it was like 29 points in the first quarter. Wow. Okay. Yep. Wow, wow, wow. Just need some cleaning. I thought they needed some dyed. There's no marks, there's no tears. Yeah, I need some cleaning at the bottom, but. Wow. I did it. This means a lot. I have, let me see if I can get it here. I have the hats to go with it. I'm gonna stamp on my cat. Bear with me for a second. These are the original hats to go with it. These are about 1992, they're 30 years, almost 30 years old, they're 29 years old. Granted, they're for little kids, I've always kept them. So you have the gold, you have the black with the little emblem, Michael Jordan signature, red and black. I used to have the hoodie and the jacket to go along with this. My parents paid a lot of money for this for Christmas. 1992, they had to go to the city of Chicago to get them. We lived in northwestern suburbs. It cost my parents back then 150 bucks for a kid in six boys' shoes. It's a little bit damaged here, but it's not bad. It's not damaged, it's just it's a little bit used. It's the same thing with that. Let's see how there. That's fine. But wow. Okay, so they need to be a little bit painted or taken care of. 
I think they're pretty good condition, being almost 30 years old. Wow. Okay. So, like I said, I used to have them. And when I was in high school, they didn't fit because I was a size 9, 9 and a half. My sister tried them on and she cracked them. So, wow. Okay, so please like and subscribe. So I have the Air Jordan Chicago 1s, the Air Dior's, the box was damaged. And the two, the, I think this is 2002, let's look at the box. These are real retro Air Jordan. Yeah. I think retro, they gotta be 2002. Yeah, it's 2002. Here we go. I'll keep the box. Here we go. I don't know why it's written this. Who knows? Probably got this at Foot Locker or something like that. Back then, 2002. For being 20 years old, they're pretty good condition. For the price I got them, I thought they were a pretty good price. Am I going to wear them? We'll see. Please like and subscribe, and I'm so grateful. It means so much to me. Yes, I'm a sneakerhead. So I have the Chicago's, the Air Dior's. The Air Dior's and Chicago's are gifted to me. I have the SB Dunks, uh, Travis Scott ones, and also the Ben and & Jerry's. And a pair of Yeezys. And I got these. Wow. Oh, yeah, also have what Aztec Reebok Retros that are up there that I don't use as you can see so like and subscribe these are the goat shoes for me except with the Chicago um, just bring back my childhood and my teenager years I had a hard time to find them and I found them and I think they're pretty damn good con condition very good condition so there you go I'm very excited and they, they need some cleaning, but I can get it cleaned. So there you go. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much.